As a dedicated badminton centre, players at Westgate in Winchester were back on court sooner than most after the last lockdown, as they weren't reliant on leisure centres. Maria is number one in England in her age group. She's missed competition. The second lockdown has been extremely disappointing for me, as it felt like we only just got back on court. Currently, I'd be playing in the English National Badminton Championships, but due to COVID, they were cancelled. They're hoping to play again before Christmas, with matches planned for the new year. Swan Netball Club in Eastleigh pulled out all the stops to get their teams playing again. They now don't expect to train until 2021. Up until lockdown two, we had 21 teams up and running that's training on a weekly basis and playing fixtures at the weekend. Um, since lockdown two, everything has been completely shut down. It's really frustrating because if you're in the education establishments, schools and colleges, they're still playing as netball is part of their curriculum. So if for a club, that's really frustrating for us. Tennis players had hoped the socially distanced nature of their sport would allow outdoor singles play at least, but the juniors at West Hants Tennis Centre in Bournemouth were left disappointed. Normally I would play 15 hours a week along with schoolwork. These times have obviously been really annoying not being able to play as normal. Hopefully this will all end on the 2nd of December. I miss my coaches, my teammates and playing tennis. I'm lucky that I live by the beach I motivate myself by running and cycling whenever I can. And there's little to cheer about for the members of Storm in Gosport. With a big competition in Florida to train for, they're just not sure what the future holds. In a month where players have had to motivate themselves, the thought of sport in December is what keeps them going.